I've interviewed Nikocado Avocado through Discord recently, and he spilled some important secrets about how he does his videos. He's this guy that makes videos like this. I used my electricity. I paid for this. Yeah, that's basically all you need to see. He makes weird videos about him eating. He's had a huge transformation that turned him into an absolute unit from his once skinny self. That's why people talk about him in his downward spiral of a life. But I finally got the chance to talk to him. This short Discord interview I had with him revealed much of his secrets of why he makes these videos and why he refuses to change, and it's a simple story as any YouTuber can relate to. The constant battle for the spotlight and gaining views and retaining an audience can drive people to pursue unhealthy lifestyles as long as he's gaining money from it. And it was pretty sad when he answered my question why he could keep making videos on it saying this. Views, man. What am I supposed to do if it's the number way to get views from other people? You think people want to watch a bunch of violin covers all day? Nah, they just want to watch some fat loser eat away his life and either laugh at him or pity him enough to give him more clicks. And immediately when he said I was like, hold it, because there's been people like Greek God X, who is a content creator that started from being a man who could merge his body fat into his chair to a shining Greek god of racism. So I basically just turned to Nick Okado and just said, you can do this and lose all this weight and still shock your viewers. You don't have to stuff your face with food in order to gain an audience of shocking people. You just have to be racist. He still expressed his doubts after I told him this. He thought he would lose his old viewer base and potentially the rest. I explained how he would actually gain a bigger viewer audience just from people watching his transformation into being a healthy version of himself. And that's when he turned to me and said, you're exactly right. I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. I talked to him for a while and he finally caved in and said he'd think about it. And the next day he released this video talking about his life. My life is so crazy. It's so up and down. It's a roller coaster. And people say, how do you know what to talk about on the internet? How do you know how to keep people entertained? How do you know what to do? I don't even have to try. There's always shit going down in my life. Something's wrong. Something got lost. Something broke. I feel like shit. Water weight, water weight. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like it's this like, this big bird, not burden, this heavy load of responsibility to make people happy and to make them laugh and everything. And, and then the other half of me is just like, F everybody, you know what I mean? Listen, I do want to thank you for watching my show of a channel. My, my channel is a show. It's just, it's literally a trash heap. But every once in a while, it's like, damn, everyone's so mean. When I saw that video the next day, I decided to check up on him, just make sure he was doing all right and where he plans on going next in his life. And he said he wasn't sure and needed time to reflect on himself and figure it out. He thanked me for helping guide him down the right path, but he wasn't sure if he would be able to follow it. I just told him that change comes from within, man, and he understood it. But I told him that there was one step that he needed to do before anything else in order to fix his life. It was the most important one, and it would change his life forever. Stop being a pussy and install CSGO because it is so much better than a soy boy game for child molesters Valorant. Immediately when I brought this up, he said the most horrific aspect of his life he's ever revealed to the public and it was so shocking. Dude, I love Valorant. I play it every day. I realized this was going to be harder than I thought, but I held back my indescribable rage of coming into contact with a Valorant player and try to guide him down the right path. That's when I hit him with the hardest truth I could possibly give him. Bro, do not play that game. Valorant is for child molesters. You have to play CSGO. And of course he laughed when he said that, but he did not understand the danger that Valorant players provide on society. So I tried to be more reasonable with him. CSGO is so much better, man. Only fatherless children play Valorant. I don't think he realized the gravity of this situation that he was a Valorant player. So I talked about when I started playing CSGO, it got my life back together and I started uploading it and even lifting more than I usually did. I felt like Thanos in that very moment trying to give him the truth that he needed to hear. But he finally caved in and I told him that we play it someday. It was a harsh truth that I had to tell him that Valorant players were actually little bitches that play a watered down version of a better game like CSGO with more history behind it because they are too busy touching themselves to sage from the game. Valorant is made by a company that only cares about releasing skins and advertising washed up CSGO pros to leave CS because they got dominated and choked on every major but they became gods in Valorant because there's no legit competition and the game is younger. And as for you Nikocado Avocado, I hope you're doing well man. Keep down this path of playing CSGO and fixing your life and I hope that you can make the change into the proper content. But remember that I can't change you, only you can. It's up to you to make the real changes in your life to further yourself and ensure that you go down the proper path to make a difference in yourself. Just remember that when you're feeling down or lost, I'll always be there for the boys if you need guidance, motivation, or just someone to talk to or play games with. I believe in you man, don't give up so easily just because it gets hard. You can do this. And if you run into any Valorant players, you turn to them, you wave your finger, and you say, get away from me you little pedophile, I'm not playing your stupid game.
because Valorant will lead you astray, and don't let them do that to you.